For years, the Biden-Harris administration has claimed that they have never pressured social media companies to censor information. Alejandro Mayorkas has said under oath that this has never happened. Let's take a look back at Mayorkas back in 2022 and see what he has to say. Now, you said earlier this year that you disbanded the Disinformation Governance Board, which I thought was totally unconstitutional, but that turns out to be at best misleading. That's just the tip of the iceberg in terms of what you're doing. Your own quadrennial review, which was just reported in the press, says that disinformation is going to be the new focus at DHS. The Quad Review says that DHS plans to target, I'm quoting now, inaccurate information domestically on a wide array of subjects, including, quoting, the origins of the COVID-19 pandemic, the efficacy of COVID-19 vaccines, racial justice, U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan, and the nature of U.S. support from for Ukraine. Here's another email, August 20th, 2021. Facebook writes again to HHS and highlights that Facebook is increasing the strength of our demotions for COVID and vaccine related content. April 16th, 2021, Rob Flaherty at the White House circulates a Zoom meeting invitation to Twitter employees stating White House staff will be briefed by Twitter on vaccine misinformation. We have example after example of this administration coordinated apparently, according to a federal court, by your agency, pressuring, coercing social media companies to engage in censorship. Is that constitutional? That is unequivocally false. It's what the emails show. It is unequivocally false, Senator. You are not pressuring the big tech companies to take down accounts. You are not meeting with them to ask them to censor on your behalf. That is correct. We are not. Mr. Secretary, it has been established for years in this country, as you very well know, because you're a lawyer, that the federal government may not use private third parties to engage in activities that are unconstitutional. That's exactly what you and this administration are doing. You are leveraging private companies to carry out censorship on your behalf. It's dystopian, but worse than that, it's unconstitutional. It's also false. In a letter sent to Congress on August 26th, Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg admitted several things. The letter states that in 2021, the Biden-Harris admin repeatedly pressured Facebook to censor COVID-19 information. This in turn means that Facebook censored Americans without their knowledge, which is disgusting. Facebook also admitted that they throttled back the Biden laptop story. Well, we knew it all along, but it's nice to hear it from the horse's mouth. The letter goes on to express regret, and Meta promises to not go down this path in the future. Looks like old Zuck is trying to separate himself from the Democratic Party. What does this mean for Mallorcas? Shouldn't this goofball be looking at jail time? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching Patriots. Click on the Creator Warp logo to subscribe. Check out these other videos and support us in our store, Patriot Threads. Have an awesome day.